Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about some basic concepts related to binary addition and subtraction. In the previous video, we have seen the three types of uh, signed binary representation formats, namely sign magnitude, ones complement, and twos complement format. Here we are going to discuss about uh, signed binary addition and subtraction in sign magnitude format. And also we will be discussing condition for overflow and no overflow during addition and subtraction. Unsigned integers are commonly used for memory addresses where overflows are ignored. The MIPS recognizes or ignores overflow by two kinds of arithmetic instructions, unsigned arithmetic and signed arithmetic. So in unsigned arithmetic, add unsigned, add immediate unsigned and uh, subtract unsigned, they do not cause any exceptions or overflow. But in case of signed arithmetic, add, add immediate and subtract cause exceptions or overflow. So what do you mean by overflow? Actually overflow occurs when the result from an operation cannot be represented with the available hardware. Uh, for example, uh, in MIPS 32 architecture, all the registers are of uh, 32 bit size. And if you want to do any addition and subtraction in the worst case, uh, they may result in 33 uh, bit result. So at that time, uh, the available hardware may not be sufficient for representing that uh, 32 bit result. So at that time, we can able to conclude that there is an overflow. So what are all the conditions for no overflow? So we have uh, uh, two different cases for both uh, addition as well as subtraction. So in addition, overflow cannot occur when operands are of different sign. So if, um, if one operand is positive and another operand is negative, and one operand is negative and another operand is positive. For example, so if you take in this example, so one operand is uh, plus 10, another one is minus 6. The second case, one operand is minus 10 and the second operand is plus 6. So in both the cases, we don't have any overflow in case of uh, addition. So in subtraction, the overflow cannot occur when the signs of operands are same. So if we subtract uh, a positive number from a positive number or if we subtract a negative number from a negative number, at that time we don't have any overflow. For example, subtracting 6 from 10 or subtracting minus 6 from minus 10, we don't have any overflow. Then what are all the conditions for uh, overflow? So overflow can be occur in the case of uh, addition as well as uh, in the case of subtraction. So in case of addition, we have two different cases. So when we add a positive number as well as a positive number, so when we add two positive numbers, if the result is a negative, that is an indication of overflow. So when we add two negative numbers, if the result is a positive one, that is also an indication of overflow. For example, so we are going to add a plus 10 and plus 6. So as it is a positive number, so the two's complement representation also will be the same. So I'm going to add these two binary uh, plus 10 and plus 6. So this is the result. So if you check the uh, MSP part, so MSP is 1. So it is a negative indication. So according to the table, if we add two positive number, if the result is negative, so it is an indication of overflow. So another example, we are going to add two negative numbers, the second case. So this is the uh, two's complement representation of minus y. This is the two's complement representation of minus four. So we are going to do the addition. So we are uh, um, only going to consider the four bits. So we are going to omit the carry. So the result will be zero triple one. So at the MSB, it is a uh, zero. So it is an indication of a positive number. So from this case, if we subtract so if we add two negative number, if the result is positive, that is also an indication of overflow. So in case of subtraction, again, we have two different cases. If we subtract a negative number from a positive number, and if the result is negative, then it is an indication of overflow. And the second case, if we subtract a positive number from a negative number, and the result, if it is a positive, and that is also an indication of overflow. For example, for the case 1, we are going to subtract a negative number from a positive number. So we are going to subtract negative 10 from positive 6. So 
here uh, this is the two scom element representation of minus 10 so we are going to do subtraction normal binary subtraction so see here the msb is 1 so it is negative so the indication is overflow the case number 2 we are going to subtract a positive number from a negative number so this is the two scom element representation of minus 6 this is plus 4 so we are going to perform subtraction msb it is 0 so it is a positive number so it is also an indication of overflow so i am going to discuss some uh, examples from uh, uh, sorry uh, exercise problems from computer architecture and or, uh, or computer organization and designed by david a patterson so you can refer this page number this problem is taken from this particular page number it is an exercise problem here in this example uh, problem they have given that we have to do subtraction for 185 and 122 and they have given that it is the unsigned 8 bit decimal integer so we have to find out uh, the uh, result as well as we have to check whether there is overflow underflow or uh, neither overflow nor underflow those cases we have to verify first i will represent 185 and 122 in uh, uh, unsigned 8 bit decimal format so these are all the representation of 185 in binary unsigned format so 122 in binary unsigned format i am going to do the subtraction so in the initial case 1 minus 0 0 so here i can't able to subtract uh, 1 from 0 so i have to take 4 of borrow from the previous place previous place also 0 so i have to take the borrow from the very immediate place so 1 so i have to take a borrow of uh, this one to this particular place so at that time here it will become zero here it will become one zero one zero means two so i can able to take borrow from this two one will be transferred here one will be kept here itself so one is remaining here it will become one zero so one zero means two so two minus one one so here i have one now so one minus zero one here it is zero now I can't able to subtract 1 from 0 so I have to take borrow from the previous state now it will become 2 so 2 minus 1 1 again I have to take borrow from the previous stage now it will become 2 so 2 minus 1 1 so I don't have any value here so in the previous stage also I can't able to take the borrow so I have to take the borrow from the very next stage so now it will become 2 so I have to take borrow from this stage so it will become 1 the current stage will become 2 now so 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 so according to uh, the conditions for no overflow so this is a positive number this is again a positive number so if i am subtracting a positive number from an another positive number so it will result in no overflow case here also that is happening i don't have any overflow happening here so the condition uh, the result is neither overflow nor underflow happening for this particular calculation so we can see another example also this is also from the same textbook here what they have done is we have to perform 185 plus 122 but the given number has to be stored in signed magnitude format so this is the binary unsigned representation of 185 so here msb bit is 1 so if you convert or if you store this particular binary in signed magnitude format this msb will be considered as negative so it is 57 plus 128 is actually 185 so here this 128 uh, that particular place value will be considered as sign bit now so the remaining bit is 57 so it is minus 57 in sign magnitude representation so 122 the msb is 0 so it is a positive number it is plus 122 so we have to perform addition between minus 57 and plus 122 so i have to perform addition so 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 again 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 0 carry 1 so i can able to omit the carry uh, the result is positive number according to the condition for non overflow so i have added a positive number as well as a negative number i have added a positive number 
as well as negative number so the result will be no overflow so the result is neither overflow nor underflow so i will give an another example this is also from that same textbook so here i have to perform subtraction instead of addition considering the previous case and i have to store the 185 and 125 in sign magnitude format so we have already seen it is minus 57 it is plus 122 i have to perform subtraction so 1 minus 0 0 i have to take borrow here so 2 minus 1 1 so 1 1 1 1 0 0 so uh, my uh, result uh, is a positive number so according to overflow condition if i am subtracting a positive number from a negative number if i am subtracting a positive number from a negative number if my result is positive here the result is positive so my answer is it is an overflow thank you